Yeah. Oh. Did I mention that I've actually been saying at Punk's name wrong whenever I've name dropped him because of my playlist? Yeah, I think you did. And actually, I, I uh, have talked to him on Twitter. He actually seems like a really fucking cool guy. I think you mentioned that, too. It's, it's like okay the, the whole still. thing with the cheese buns. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> and, it, and it figures now we're getting some uh, people in here now that I'm just grinding. <laughs> of course. Well, at least the music's good. <laughs> That's true. Guys, we're terribly sorry about this. Oh, hey, it's Isaac music. Yep. But I was playing earlier. <laughs> Get my ass in, me, boy. I don't know, you did a good, pretty good job against Blue Baby. Yeah, that chest run was... That was a good chest yeah. run, man. Yeah. Usually I get I thrown like some get pretty nasty face. shit. Though I will say this, the, uh, the dark room is harder than the lamb. But the chest is harder. Well, the chest is easier than Blue Baby. Yeah. Thanks, Tails. <laughs> as long as you guys are having fun, and that's all that matters, really. But then again, That's you guys wouldn't be for. here and talking to me if you were bored as hell <laughs> watching this, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit, I don't want to send Spurter out. Because he's already done. Nope. Plus, it's already... It's a bad switch against Gyarados. Yeah, don't send... Don't send Spurter, man. I against the, uh, the Gyarados, man. Against Gyarimian? Yeah. Shit, I think Lou's gonna hit level 20 just being Defender. <laughs> Hey, if it works. Well, if that's the case, I might as well just start using Jotaro as a fucking defender. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Actually, to be fair, the party does have to catch up to Jotaro, so. Come on. And I'm not gonna lie, but most of my party kind of sucks right now. I need to... <coughs> actually, I just got to thinking, does my, uh... Does the top bar of my stream actually say that I'm playing Pokemon, or is it still say I'm playing Zelda? It says you're playing Pokemon. Because okay. I don't know why I just got thinking about it, but uh, I was reminded that your Isaac stream still said you were playing Armor Core. It's still kind of weird. I have no idea why it was doing that. Uh, but I guess that, that would also be like, okay, that's why I don't have any viewership. Or maybe you know, because I second. already had the page loaded before you changed it and didn't refresh. That's possible. I have a tendency of doing show that. on my end that I was playing Isaac. I love how Lou Gehrig is a freaking safe switch on Gyarados. Under yep. normal circumstances, it would not be. <laughs> It'd be like, yeah. oh shit, nigger, what are you doing? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, I realized I said that. I'm like, I don't know if Jay's here and two, I don't think people are going to know that was a meme I was referencing. Please don't punch him. <laughs> I know, right? 
Yeah, we was almost level 18. Nice. It's a shame I have to switch so fucking much. True. Thing is, I don't feel comfortable taking Cactus up against some Galades. Especially because of Glaciate. Yeah. I mean, Spurter could take it because he wasn't weak to it. Ah! Sunny Flamethrower still does a lot of damage to Garrick. Yeah... That's gonna happen because, holy shit, the damage, but... It's a good time to bust out the uh, sacred fire. Oh, hey, I finally brought the burn, and it wasn't enough to make the kill. Oh. Thanks, Obama. Uh, Gyarados is levitating because it's a flying type, and it had to justify it somehow. Cactus wants to learn med uh, Outrage. Interesting. Should I? Because that is a high-risk move. It's got Confusion, Twin Needle, Sacred Fire, and what's the Cross move? Job. It's Crash Champ. Cross Chop. Uh, eh, screw it. No Outrage? No Outrage. If it wasn't the fact that it was locked, a lock-in move and confusion afterward, I would consider yeah. it. Plus there's the fact that, you know, Cactus is weak as hell. I don't even know if I'm going to use her. Yeah. What are her stats anyway? They suck. Not as bad as you'd think, actually. 42... Well, 43 average on attack, 31 on defense. <laughs> With a move set that's not exactly supported. Well, with the fact of confusion being shit, yeah. wind needle being shit. I mean, Sacred Fire and yeah. Cross Chop are awesome, but. Don't get much chance to use him, especially when Gyarados is the common fucking encounter here. I am the Gyarados, man. Really wish I could go to the inside inside of the forest. Oh well. Tough titties, kid. Tough titties. Yeah. Well, at least Twin Needle makes quick work at the Trico. And it saves my better moves. But Trico's not worth yeah. shit for experience. Yeah. That's a trade off. That's the trade off. Mm hmm. I'm trying to get the brass to rustle. thing is, I don't have the audio cues. Yeah. Kind of a thing. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance 2. I never fully beat that game. I've never even played it. In fact, I don't think I've ever even seen a copy of it anywhere, weirdly enough. It's a lot... In my opinion, it's a lot better than Tactics Advance 1. Yeah. But that's not saying much. 
Yeah, Tactics Advance 1 wasn't really a great I hated game the fucking law stretch. system. The law system was awful. Yeah. Plus the way they kind of hand-waved the law card system. Yeah. Which, ugh. And to be fair, even though Numal is one of my favorite races from Tactics Advance, I did not like the, co the character of Azel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Gallade's in the place of... Um... Audino. Alright, let's see if this was a bad idea. Actually, it wasn't that bad. Uh, yeah. Considering how I took 10 damage and probably did about 28 on the rebound. Yep. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, actually, that's not bad, considering how I was doubtful of Cactus's ability. That's... Yeah. It's actually almost useful. Almost. Almost. And you know what they say about almost. Only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Yep. I think I'd rather have Cacturn than, uh, Maractus. If only because Grass Dark's better typing. Yeah. More weaknesses, but more, but better on the offense. Yep. And, and Eclipse of the gets water. a couple other types. Pretty nice. And it does have a quad weakness to, um... Bug. To Bug, yeah. But to be fair, Bug's not all that common of an attacking type. That's true. Also, Cacturn's defenses are such that it doesn't really matter that much. It's probably still going to get killed by it anyway. Yeah, it's, it is pretty glassy. Yeah. But it makes up for it by the fact that it's fucking crazy powerful on the physical offense. Both offenses are pretty high. I think they're oh, 125 really? each. Yeah. Yeah, but it's got a better physical move pool. Yeah, definitely. Seed Bomb. Yeah, the, the one that I ran for a while, like, mostly just on campus. It wasn't, like, online or anything. It was just the one people I knew used uh, Focus Punch and Sucker Punch. And it would just, I would just be able to call all of their things because I did them so well. And they hated it. Sounds it sounds like these guys aren't very good at uh, meta. Yeah. Oh, shit. Why is it raining? But, you know, they were just doing it for fun. And I was just being a dick. So. <laughs> Oh, fuck Air Slash! I proc the poison. That's good. But why is it raining? Oh, Rain Dance. Hmm. I think it can actually get any way, too. Everything can learn fucking Rain Dance, dude. Yeah. Eclipse of the World is one of the, the one of the three that actually sounds like a Zelda song. Yeah, true. Though, to be fair, it only shows up during the final mission. So you're fighting Ganon. Yeah. So it's fitting, right? Yeah. Though, I think one of the uh, fucking DLC things actually lets you play as Ganon on certain maps. Yeah, I seem to recall hearing about that. I haven't played since the Twilight Princess DLC pack hit. Ah. And I really don't even know if you can even count that, because I... I mean, I didn't play much after the fucking Master Quest pack hit. Now the fucking level cap is, like, 250. Oh. I haven't had... My highest level character is Link at 99. 
And it's yeah. because I capped out whenever the level cap was still low. Yeah. Now I wouldn't be surprised if the level cap's fucking 300 now. Wouldn't surprise oh, me in it's the gotta be pretty high. I don't know. Uh, Koei's actually supporting the game really well. That's true. Well, I'm going to take Juggernaut to Evolution. Because doesn't Beldum evolve at 20? Yeah, it evolves at 20. Its its Evolution levels are all minus 10 from all the other uh, pseudo-legendaries. Well, Matang de Gross is going to be even lower. It's true. I, I checked the uh, a... Simplify Evolutions. Yeah. So, Tang's going to evolve at 40. If he survives that long. So, oh, hopefully he will. Barring more sudden bullshit, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta be really careful around Numel. Yeah. There's actually one thing that uh, I could have done with this uh, seed is um, yeah. <clears throat> standardize uh, experience gain, where everything that's not a legendary is medium fast, and everything that's a legendary is slow, slow. Yeah. But I'm like, eh. I might do that for black too. Mm, that's it, go for it. Why do you say that, Lore? What's he got to say? Oh. He said Raid Leader is a fucking retard. Gotcha. I know someone else who plays uh, 14, so that sounds like... Uh, he's actually playing WoW like they're complete. Playing WoW? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I guess it just kind of is shared across most MMOs then. Well, you know what they say, success mimics success. So everything that's not wow tries to be wow. Kinda, yeah. I hate these fucking Gyaradoses, I say as I run into a Diglett. Diglett. Just want to run into some fucking Galades. Because Galades good experience. Also, not a threat to Juggernaut. Yep, yeah, that's good. Forget, is Bug super effective? No! It is not. Yeah, no, fighting is. Fighting resist. Yeah. yeah. I forgot what the word was. Did I say not a threat to the juggernaut? Doesn't quite seem. Doesn't quite seem so anymore. Blame me, dude. Number one in heals as a priest, and number one is damage on his mage. Dude's got some accolades. Take your buddy with you. I figure the fact that if he's a friend of yours, and you're 
off pretty well. He'll probably be able to get him a spot, too. I mean, it would make sense. Oh, yeah. shit! Lou just took a crit! As long as he survived, that's the important part. Oh, he did. Good. Plus, he's still in the save zone. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Till 20. I tend to forget about that until it comes up. Well, to be fair, like, it, it doesn't come up for very long. Yeah. Especially later in the run. When shit gains five Definitely. levels fast. Yeah. Mm, yeah, that would do it. I like the Toho music on this playlist, but the thing is, the file cuts off in a really weird place. Because, for the sake of the loop. Yeah. Looping, hey. Sometimes it doesn't always work well. Yeah, but at least the uh, Toho team made it you know, make sense where yeah. they loop. It's not like half the people that designed for Super Mario Brothers X that are like, oh, let's just take this song that doesn't sound very good that's gonna fade out and then come back full fucking st strength from the beginning and have a really yeah. janky-ass fucking loop. If I could get things to loop properly with that, like... Well, it's all a matter of... I don't know, is it hard-coded in the, uh, the game to fade the song out? I believe it is, yeah, that it's hard-coded to... That is like, poor to music it. coding. Yeah. And the thing is, you have to fucking deliberately code in a fade. Yeah, I, it's either that, or it's like, it just plays through the full file, and that's what everybody is using, is that it's not fixed. Yeah, but the thing is, you can modify the song to, you know, loop. Granted, that means cutting off the beginning. Yeah. And I think that, like, all the people... That, and like, you're mic like, sensitive and went back down, dude. God damn it! I have no idea why it does that to you. I really wish I had Covet or Thief right now. That should be a little better, hopefully. A little bit. Uh, there should be a... Yeah. Are you going through your uh, sound settings to change that? Yeah. Uh, there should be a checkbox for you to hit that says, Don't adjust my fucking volume. Right, let me see if I can find it somewhere. If not, Google's available. <laughs> Wow, Scyther is not worth fighting. Then again, neither no, is Trico at this point. Field. Anyway, yeah, if I get music to loop with SMB a little better, where I still had the intros to certain songs, I'd be happy. But I don't. Yeah. So, like, I like watching people play Super Mario Bros. X, but I will never play it myself because of that, the shit looping. Yeah. Just kind of drives me nuts, and not in a good way. Yep. You know, a couple years ago, I had this song as my uh, ringtone on my phone. And every time I would play Final Fantasy IX and get to a boss fight, I would think my phone was ringing. Because <laughs> it was yeah, specific, happen, specifically yeah. this segment right here. Right. As the ringtone. And so, like, I actually set my notification tone on my phone to be the trophy sound from PSN 
Yeah. So, you know, a couple years ago when I got my PS3, I'd be talking to Jay, and I would get a text message, and you'd be like, holy shit, you got another trophy? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know I have a couple of things like that once in a while. I had my phone's text message tone for a while was the alert sound from Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, my brother uses that. That's a good thing to have happen when you're playing Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Fuck, what? How'd they see me? I'm in the vent! <laughs> right? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, boy. Don't you love grinding? Oh, yeah, it's my favorite thing ever. Well, at least there's a point in the game where I'm guaranteed to get a fucking lucky egg. That's true. <laughs> the We Are Dead rant. Isn't that from the Boo Saga? No, Vegeta dies way, way early in that. So. It's either that or Seth. Yeah, I don't remember my DBZ well enough to to remark. Oh! DBZ abridged, okay. Oh, okay. That makes a little bit more sense. I don't know, my current ringtone is um, the mashup of Corn's Freak on a Leash and the Thomas the Tank Engine theme song. Oh god. <laughs> you linked that to me, didn't you? Yes! I don't know if I linked the ringtone, but I linked the song to you at least. For some reason, I thought there was someone else who linked that to me. I, I feel like that's something that at least a couple of my friends would try to play in. Alright, I don't know if, how familiar you guys are with, the, uh, with Freak on a Leash. But it's the part where they just break into grunts. So it's that mm, da, da, mm, that part. It's fucking hilarious. Actually, hang on. Give me a second. I've actually got my phone sitting right here. Again. Uh, anyway, my my browser just crashed. Let me just fix that real quickly. I should probably at least continue these fights while I'm looking. <laughs> Uh, Turn on the auto battle. If only I could. <laughs> it's in. I can't remember if it's it. Ringtones. No, I'm gonna pause the music here real quick because I found it. All right. 